definitely working great. It's chilly in here. Life is harder than I like to think. But it's easy when you're by my side. No point in calling, you just have to see. The fundamentals of our life tonight Cause I've been looking at a photograph of you And I've been thinking about all the ways you move This isolation got me feeling like a moon in my love You when I wake up I feel empty not beside you this is the Craftsman 3500 watt 4375 starting watt generator. I like this because knowing it doesn't have four total outlets, it's also got the RV outlet. Oh, and it's got a really long run time. Up to 19 hours on a 50% load. Can't remember how much gallons the tank is, but we'll get there in a second. This is what it says it'll run. That's great because it's gonna be running my portable air conditioner, which is huge. My fridge and my um, microwave and TV and all that stuff. So when I'm parked, all that's gonna be hooked in. We're gonna give it the ultimate test this week. And this is a video for that test, so. You're gonna see what size tank that is, six gallons. So do the math with me. Let's just say, Fuel is four dollars a gallon. Six times four, that's 24. Um, this is 11 hours, or 19 hours. Let's say it actually lasts the 10 hour break. So, 24 dollars for a 10 hour break. Now let's say I'm idling the truck. This truck uses over a gallon an hour just to idle. Diesel fuel is five, let's just say five dollars. Five times 11, that's 55 dollars a night. I saved 20 something dollars, supposedly, maybe more. But also, yeah, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> Uh, the portable air conditioner is also a heater, so this will also come in handy in the winter. I'm going to get a cover for this before I leave today, because it's going back here. I'm taking a toolbox out, I'm moving the, the uh, catwalk up. I have this APU for sale. The thing is, is I don't want to use it, <laughs> because I've got wires crumbling. This has been ran without this on there forever. And I'm only like a, a grand in this whole setup that I got, maybe like 1100. So I fear that if I put that into this, and let's be honest, this isn't nearly as efficient as a, a gas, uh, you know, as far as fuel cost goes. But there's so much that's still wrong with that. Like the AC doesn't work, all the lines are busted, um, possibly busted. The compressor, it, it would just quarter spin, it would like, it would be turning and then it just randomly not. So I don't know what that's about, but hey, I got that for sale. Somebody wanna buy it. Another reason why I didn't use that is because it doesn't, would not charge the batteries. It was showing, actually it was sucking juice from the batteries. So there's a lot that needs done to that. So I just went ahead and I'm gonna do something that's reliable and ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Not something that I'm gonna put a lot of money into and then regret it later. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Whatever. All right, now that Amazon's pissing me off, we're gonna take this box out. It's like you just got that put on there with some goofy little things. We're gonna take the box out, move this over. It looks like I just gotta loosen that. On each side and push it over. Let's see what happens. I'm just kind of confused. Where do I store my gas can? Because I am not putting that thing under the bunk. All right, we got the box out, off, or whatever you want to call it. It was just uh, put in there with some bolts that were squeezing against the frame. I mean, I guess that's good enough. I still don't know what to do with my fuel tank, but we're gonna get this out. I gotta find the right socket and wish me luck. Looks like a T30. Yes, sir. -y. That's a T30, I told you. I do recommend these. Um, these are from Harbor Freight. They cost me, I don't know, 14 bucks maybe. I don't remember. There's a video somewhere. Uh, Harbor Freight, for those who don't do this shit all the time, they're shitty tools. All right, in case you're new at this or never taking your catwalk off, if you look down, there's a little black plate under there. See it moving? All that does is sandwich everything to the frame. So, we'll loosen one and loosen the other, and I think 
I have to take one completely off to get over this. If I if this wasn't there, I could just slide it all down. But of course, you know. But that's okay. All right, there we are. Hopefully that's far enough slid. I always run my fifth wheel all the way back. I don't. I think there's plenty of room here, but I will hug the back of the, you know, put the generator toward the back as much as possible. Ugh. The exhaust is always going to be running out the back like that. But my problem is now that the exhaust is running out the back, how am I going to pull start from this angle? And I can't rotate and pump the exhaust out the, you know, this way into where I'm sleeping at. So what am I going to do? It's a very easy, easy pull. That's, that's plenty easy. We're gonna put some fuel in it and see what it, what it does. All right, well, I got some straps, but I don't know. I don't know how I like that, so I'm gonna do some U-bolts. Put around the tube, all the way around. Then I got my bicycle chain lock. Uh, you know, <laughs> go on there too. I'm gonna make it a cover. I think I'll just get a small one and get the uh, bungee cord with the netting to go around it to help keep the water from coming up. I might get a piece of diamond plate to go under it like this. Keep the water from coming up under it. Oh, what a mess. Wish me luck. All right, let's give it a shot. You can tell me if it's, uh, <laughs> it's worse than the reefer. Main switch interrupter. Okay, which one's on? I think this is it. Well, here we are. Here we are again. It's later on in the day. I quit Amazon. I told them to go shove it up there. So I go to Gilman Home Center, do it best, and get some of these U bolts for that. Yeah, that's covered right now because it's raining. Also, yeah, this just popped up, by the way. Look, <laughs> water right on there. Hang on. What's the odds of water hit that right on there? So anyways, long story short, we are shut down at the moment. Um, I'm working for FedEx tomorrow, going to uh, Michigan and back. So not in my truck, in their truck, in uh, my boss's truck. The nice, really new T680. Anyways, we got the U-bolts. Um, got some lock washers, some regular washers. That APU, it runs, it's for sale. It's had that bottom bottom cover off for many years though. So there's some things it needs. Uh, the fan does not work. The uh, cooling fan, I think that's why it always shuts off. It'll run for about five minutes and then shut off. Then after that, it shuts off after 30 seconds. Um, that runs, the compressor would kick in, but it just won't charge batteries. So, and I'm just waiting for somebody to shoot me an offer. But like I said, it's raining again. That's why we didn't get this done yesterday. And I was supposed to be on the road by now. Luckily, I'm not. Well, kind of luckily, I guess. I missed out on a really good, a decent paying Amazon load, but whatever. So, as soon as it stops raining, we're going to get started on uh, bolting this, securing this thing down. But for now, I'll show you what I've done so far. I got the bicycle lock thing all tightened down, and yeah. So, whenever I put these in, oh, I hope I didn't get them too long. I got them too long. Oh, well, we'll figure something out to put on the bottom to shim it, I guess. Yeah, that's way too long. Ah, it might actually be perfect. We'll see. I'm going to put some rubber all the way along the bottom. I've got uh, from the garage door, the rubber stop that goes under it. I'm going to put that under both sides. So, yeah. And I got this kit. It comes with the tie downs for this and uh, stuff like that. Man, I forgot to put it on super steady mode. Sorry, guys. But, yeah, we're going to put the gas can back here, too. So there's that. Wish me luck. Hey, I need that umbrella. What? You want it? You can have it if you want it. Because I'm gonna be inside. All right, I'll walk you inside with it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'll set this further back. Scoot all that over. Be able to put the gas can here. And, you know, it'll be further over there, but that's okay because I can pull it better. That'll be gone, so I'll be able to step right in there. 
Put the fuel can here. Obviously when it's running, the fuel can will not be sitting there. But yeah, let's see how this works. All right, and here's what I got so far. That one's gonna go there. We have one over there. Um, this one's gonna be here, kind of straddling the thing there. And then I'll put this one back there. All right, I'm thinking I'll just put this one back here somewhere. Yeah, we gotta drill some holes, but it's okay. It's all right. Couple holes to be drilled. It's not. That's not a. Uh, it's not a new thing, you know. So, also, this has a handle. I'm not sure what to do with that. I think I'll just zip tie it, or just completely remove it. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Here we are. So there's the drill. I dropped it. Um, as always, make sure you're using some type of coolant while you're drilling in metal. All this is very thin uh, aluminum. Luckily, it cut through no problem so here's what i'm doing there's the u-bolt from the top here it is from the bottom got a couple washers and a lock washer we're gonna torque it up there and do the rest gotta love it guys i am freaking done pouring sweat here we are that's the hardest one so far to get to i'm not getting under this truck i'm on a, on a hill so i can get my harley out so that's why here we are right here all right check them out those are my anchors or u-bolts or whatever the fuck you want to call them um these are the anchors right here they're sturdy here's that awesome apu that runs great if you can keep it running it just needs a uh, new coolant lines and bottom cover and a couple of old wires that are disintegrated fixed and it'll keep running we're back at fedex let's play a little game i like to call people involved in that wow and we're back in the truck doing another run for the devil amazon before i grabbed this load i did a test i turned pretty hard to make sure trailer was not going to hit that. It doesn't. It does not. Looks like everything's holding together pretty well. And people are going to hate me when <laughs> we get out there. The devil. Now if you listen, barely hear that. Wait till tonight when we test mine. <laughs> we'll see how loud it is. Um, it may end up making me have to park backwards. You know what I mean? Pulling in the spot instead of backing in. Just so I'm not waking people up. Because I'm not an asshole. And some people might say I care too much about how other people are affected by my actions. Like, it's pretty bad. Like, I get anxiety about it. I'm like, man, I don't want to piss this guy off. Or if somebody's mad at me, I'm like, why are you mad at me, dude? It's why you out. I don't know what it is. But, whatever. That's what's up. Chesterfield. Hey, we're gonna try this out today. Um, my truck is a complete mess. Literally jumped in. I'm not even ready for this. I checked the weather. There's no rain at all. No precip. That word. I've already got my window blind set up. Um, I'm gonna set those up. Get my cord ran through the window, and I'm gonna build like a soundproof box and everything. But since I haven't, I kind of park back like I pretty much put my drives or my my trailer tires like him in the grass but it's not muddy back there if it get if it gets too loud and I get complaints I might shut it off but only if my life is threatened but hey here's saving money right okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is open the side door that's where I'm gonna put the tarp and all the things to uh, you know the tie down on the generator then I'm gonna roll the window down enough to put these in it. All right, so definitely not the best setup. I need to figure out how to address these. Um, just haven't had much time to think about that part. Now to lug this big guy over. Be sure you do that. Subscribe to this trucking life. Here we go. All right. This is what I've got. So I had to lean it level because the seat likes to lean back um 
because I have any uh, drain right there that's gonna go into that pan yeah that pan's rusty whatever who cares um, so yeah let's see how bear with me we'll try to pretty this up a little bit more but let's be real that's not kidding <laughs> this is not gonna happen until I get something to fix that all right we're gonna try this <laughs> All right, we're just gonna throw it in there. All right, I got my power cord ready. Um, nice and secure, she's held together great. Wish me luck, how much fuel do I got? Five or six hours, then I'll shut it off and enjoy the cool air. I don't know how good of an angle this is, but check it out. On. Not that bad at all. Not that bad at all. This motor, the truck's louder than that. Let's shut it off and see. Sound test, ready? Not that bad at all. All right, let's test it inside, shall we? All right, I was worried about it being too loud inside. Kind of like set next to a reefer just not as loud oh yeah that's highly annoying all right there's the microwave we're gonna we're gonna steam some rice here in a second but first let's turn on this air conditioner Can you do that okay voila i really wish i had like a meter to keep track of like how much power is running through. I'm sure I can get one pretty cheap. Um, inverter has one, but this is off of the truck power. So I'm actually gonna shut it off because it's not being used. If you want to know about that, Livian, subscribe guys. <laughs> Look at my other videos. If you made it this far, heck, you might as well. Look at my other videos. Um, I have this little booger talking about it and everything, so. Yeah, but so is the winter, it's spelled W-H-Y-N-T-R, and it is remote controlled. It also is a heater. So wintertime, I ain't gonna be freezing. Uh, we enter, oh man, it's already cold, nice. Um, here's the drain plug again. Hopefully it's angled good enough to do that. And I'll let you know how this goes with the microwave. Okay, also I did something on this free all kinds of videos guys i did those lights i did those in the L those lights too <laughs> um this fridge was on there check out how i got it set up for now i don't really do cans so there's nothing there um i always put my bottles of water in here I just have it on max um these are pretty well thawed out i put them in there today got some burritos got some chicken frozen solid um this little freezer works great now this fridge pulls a lot of G's though. Like I had to upgrade my um, power inverter to be able to handle it from the original TriPack Evolution one, which is only like 1200 watts. It just, it couldn't hang. Um, I guess it could, it just kept saying error. So I don't know. Um, come find out the whole APU is not even hooked up to the batteries. So I've got it for sale. I don't know how to hook up to the batteries. Um, it's set there. Well, just look in the earlier part of the video. If you want to buy it, come get it. Guys, help me name help me name the pirate. <laughs> this is what we're cooking tonight. Broccoli cuts. Um ingredients. Broccoli. <laughs> and salt and pepper when I'm cooking. It will not focus on something that I can't hold still, huh? Wow. That's okay. My hands are really dirty. I need to go wash them. Okay, so it says, <laughs> you just take my word for it. Microwave cook time, uh, 1200 watt, five minutes? No, my microwave might be a 700 watt. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go eight minutes. Let's see if it can handle the microwave. That's a good sign the light came on. <laughs> Let's 
see if it can handle the microwave. That and the fridge is probably running. We just opened it. All right, we're gonna do eight freaking minutes on this thing. Time cook, 800. Here we go, listen. It's working harder, but it's working. I think it has an over surge shutdown, over surge shutdown, so we'll see. Right now we've only been going 10 seconds. So we'll see. Um, this is really bad lighting, by the way. I trimmed up this thing. I don't know what to do with it. I just know that our matey, you know, I just need a parrot on my shoulder and we'll be done, right? All right, let's try this new camera angle. So a lot of people might be wondering like, hey, why the gas power generator? Um, basically because the diesel ones are very expensive. My APU is taking a poop and I'm afraid to put any money into it because it's been mistreated. It's been left out in the elements with, you know, all the salt and stuff coming off the road. Um, they left the bottom cover off. Um, I already had to replace one part of it, the um, inverter. You know, you can see it, check out another video about that. I got an awesome power inverter now versus the Tri-Pack Evolution one, which was, which was very bad. Anyways, I'm taking the, the thing off and I'm gonna put my, um, I'm thinking about putting the thing on the side where the uh, APU was and like making my own custom box to keep it waterproof, or, you know, keep it, quiet it down and pump the exhaust out a certain way and keep the water out and not have an extension cord hanging outside of the truck. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's gonna pay for itself within a month. And, and it's only gonna be during, you know, the hottest and the coldest months, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just what I found to be the best for this used truck. Now, when I get my dream truck, it'll have a brand new tri pack in it, right? All right, thanks for watching. Um, not all my videos are like this. A lot of them are vlog style like this, so, but not all of them, you know? <laughs> oh, I'd like to make a special about the recent shooting at the Greenwood mall in Greenwood, Indiana, which is, I go there quite a bit, at least once a month. Um, and I've ate at that food court several times. Um, the boy from Bartholomew County, 40 yards, 15 seconds, 80% hits on this guy in a high stress situation. Kudos to you. You are my hero. And there we go. That answers that question. So yeah, if you don't know anything about that shooting, um, basically it's not all out yet, but a kid was, I don't know what his age was. I don't know, I don't know the details. Uh, came in there with a couple of hundred rounds or whatever and several guns and uh, he came out of the bathroom. I'm not gonna talk about it. As always, I suggest a carbon monoxide alarm. Yes, you need this idling in the truck just driving anywhere in the truck you need this it goes off get the hell out tell them you want the truck fixed you're not driving no more if it's your truck fix it <laughs> guys I'm running out of freaking minutes here um, I'm gonna put on a movie let's just pick a random one here it might see this one it's a good movie I'm not gonna watch that one though. Argo F yourself yep what we're talking about and I'm gonna meal <laughs> peace oh real quick real 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 quick I got some really funny shirts too so make sure you check them out <laughs> in the description sneak peek of uh the